Okay, I'm uh, installing the prop adapters using a screwdriver from an iFixit kit that I have. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll put it on the Roy installed two of them. Just go ahead and dab it and stick it in there. These are the Sunny Sky motors. And you have, um, I can pick it up, goes over that, and then you have the prop adapter. One nice and secure, we'll be testing them in just a little while. I think uh, it's not going to go anywhere. So there you go. Right now I'm going to use this servo tester. I'm plugging it into the, the signal is the yellow. So plug it in there. Then I'm going to take this battery Turn and put plug the black into black and the red into red. Okay, it makes a sound. The uh, LEDs lit, and then when I turn it, okay, I'm working on the tilt mechanism. I'm going to center the solenoid, and instead of using a radio like David did. I'm just going to use this servo tester. So I'm taking ESC. I want to be sure we don't want to put too much voltage on here. Basically take that, plug that into here. And then you can uh, see where the center is. Doing that you can just uh, actually just go into neutral and that should center where the where it is, where it should be. Okay, I finished mounting the camera plate, the arms, and oh, routing the wires. Probably the hardest part I didn't realize was tightening these screws. It's helpful if you have a tool like this, or you know, or some sort of. This is a cheap ratcheting set with a number one bit, but you definitely need a number one Phillips screwdriver. I also have a uh, something to drive the uh, M3 nuts. Anyway, I've got it completed. I, uh, it's a lot bigger than you think sometimes once it's out. Um, tightening was a challenge, but I hope now to uh, be able to hook everything up and do a smoke test, I guess. Uh, one of the challenges is going to be is this K2 board. David's uh, video is still not out there on how to use it, so I'm going to look and uh, come up with my own. And I'll probably go into a lot more detail I have it on the assembly because David's done a real good job in talking about how, about the uh, mounting of the servos and the motors and assembling the frame. So I'm hoping in the next couple of days to actually be flying this thing and. Um, I'll try to keep you up to date as I uh, finish and looking forward to actually flying this. If you have any comments, please let me know uh, and subscribe if you would. Thanks.